Hi guys, Jason Lanier here. We are here in uh, Laredo Ghost Town. We're here to do shoots with Rotolite with the brand new AOS 2 and Neo 3. And we have some beautiful wardrobe lined up, great models, awesome film crew. Let's, uh, let's go check this place out. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is really cool, man. Holy crap. My dad watched Westerns. That was his favorite genre of movie. And so I grew up watching this stuff. But to be here in the UK and to see it is really, it's pretty incredible. And uh, the fact that there's no tourists here, there's nobody walking around is actually incredible because it gives me free run of the place. So this, this is gonna be a lot of fun. How you doing, brother? <laughs> it's nice to see you. Uh, Jason, right? Yeah. I'm Freddy. Freddy? Can you do an American accent for us? I can do an American accent. <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> Say howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. <laughs> I love every time Brits want to do Americans, they go husky with the voice. But no, you look great, dude. It's just a crack up to be standing here in an old west town with a dude dressed up as an old west guy and to hear a British accent. <laughs> yeah, it's no. cracking me up. <laughs> no, this is great. This is great. So I look forward to shooting you, brother. Cool. Yeah. Good, yeah, it should be great. Oh, yeah. So some of the times when you have a really overcast day like this, the whole idea is to look for when you get more definition and some character in your sky. So that'll be something we kind of map out as the day goes and you kind of work your locations based upon your, your sky. Okay, so for a shot like this, when there's a barrel looking at you, what a lot of, what we like to do, what's easy to do is to shoot it at a very wide aperture because you get a lot of light in. The problem is then the gun is so out of focus, it just doesn't look quite right. I was just able to pull off something really cool. And I went down to a 5.6 out here. Being able to have a light bright enough, just in continuous mode, I'm gonna keep saying, and shoot it at 5.6 and I get so much more in focus is really incredible. <laughs> These lights are so much freaking fun. <laughs> it's just, wow. I love it, this is a blast. All right, put the gun up again, brother. It should be noted in this setup, if I'm trying to use a traditional flash, A, I have to have a big modifier in the way, okay, to get the softness of the light that I want. I don't have to do that with rotor light. B, if I'm trying to position the light really where I want it to be, I can get it exactly where I want. Guys, trying to pinpoint that with flash, test shot review, test shot review, test shot review. That's reactive photography. This is proactive photography, which is why these lights are so freaking Incredible. This is so insane. I'm shooting with the AOS 2 at F14. Look at that, dude. You're probably looking at the back of the camera right now, but it's just insane. Look with that light underneath. This looks like a Western movie. 
Great, great work. Do we have one of the ladies ready? All right, come uh, stand right here for me, Stephanie. Freddie, you're gonna go back this time, brother. Stephanie, look into the light, honey. Look right at the camera. Are you able to kind of crouch? All right, get right behind her. Put the gun up in the air. Yep. Stephanie, head this way, honey. Right there. Oh, you guys are awesome. These are so ridiculous. You guys are incredible. Doesn't it look like a movie poster? Yeah, that's crazy. Look at that one, dude. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna do a quick shoot here with the beautiful Francesca. And oh, she needs a Bible or something. <laughs> no, for real, it's like we need... Let's go take a look. Going into the general store. Wow, this place is, <laughs> this whole place is so authentic, it's crazy. Not that I would know, I didn't live in the 1800s, but good grief, this is gorgeous. Mr. Clerk, do you sell a Bible? We're looking to get religion in our lives. This stuff is freaking, like, there's texture of oldness all over this place. <laughs> This is a Bible, that's Proverbs, that's hilarious. Well, I asked for a Bible and I got it. What does the good book say, ask and you shall receive? <laughs> I'm doing a wide angle 20 millimeter shot right now. And if your light's not powerful enough, you can't get it out of your frame. So we get a lot of questions as to how far away you can put the light from your light source. Right now, I'd estimate it's eight, nine feet away from her. And um, that's, that's given me the ability to really get a really wide angle shot for kind of that environmental portraiture so I can get the entire church in the shot with her. Let's go in front of the saloon now. Great job, great job. Come right here. I love this. Now you're the Bible lady who's um, telling the sinners who go to the saloon that they're going to hell. Come back this way, Martin. Right here. Beautiful. And when testing these lights, something that was important to me was to try different focal lengths to figure out all the different ways these lights could be utilized. So shooting with the 20 is, is putting these lights to the test because they have to be out of frame, unless I want to do a lot of Photoshop, which I do not want to do. So um, this really helps to test what we're doing here. I'm also going to shift my my white balance my kelvin just a little bit because it's i don't want her to be too warm you have your bible and you're going to wave your finger like no nope, no going to the saloon now hold the bible with both hands and now you're Yep, one, two, three. We lost the light of the day. We don't have the ability to shoot in golden hour right now, it just didn't happen, and so what we're doing is recreating it, because sometimes you have to. So let me show you how we did that. We're coming in here. We have a very handsome and awesome Freddy. To recreate a, a kind of a sunlight effect, 
Um, I don't want the, the AOS just um, unmodified because I want to really soften and spread that light similar to what you would get during golden hour. What's really cool about this is it's spreading the light so much, but it's still giving a directionality to the light. So we have lighting in the environment, but we also have shadows and highlights, which you'll see in the, in the, in the final images. It's very, very pretty. And then what we did behind is we used Neo 3, and I used the Neo 3 uh, really to rim light the underside of his brim on the hat. Maybe something's reflective, like imagining the sun is actually painting that light in, and there's a jar or metal or something that would reflect that light back into the underside of, of his hat. That's why I, I lit it like this, and I, I love it. I love the shots. They turned out perfect. What a day, guys. This last uh, setup that I did with the lights was, was one of my favorites that I've ever done. Pretty elaborate, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And just having the ability to create with all of these lights is absolutely insane. This lighting setup alone is three AO2s and three Neo 3s and, uh, and a smoke machine. Behind me, the rim light that's lighting me is an AOS 2 using the RGB and, and a yellow. In the balcony area, we have a Neo 3 in red. On the two windows, on the left and the right, on the downstairs are two Neo 3s, and those are with a red hue. On the middle of the stairs there, we have an AOS 2 that is illuminating the entire building. Lighting me as a key light is, a, is an AOS 2 inside of the illuminator to really spread and soften that light, especially in dark environments. This lighting setup really shows the power of those RGBs. Being able to pair up the exact colors and get everything precise between the reds and the, and the oranges that we're using here really made this come together. And we lit up this entire hotel. And uh, you know, this place, one of the cameras should pan this way. Show what the rest of the town looks like, how black it is. <laughs> it's worth showing, it really is. Like we really lit up a place that has no lighting. And so it's just an incredible uh, example of what you can do with these lights. I absolutely love these lights. Even though I'm sponsored by, the, by Rotolite, even though I've worked with them for a decade, they still have to earn my loving of their gear. That's just the honest truth. They have to earn that, and they do. <laughs> this is the first time I've been in England in two and a half years, thanks to COVID. And coming over here, and the first trip that I get to come back and do is a Neo 3 or an AOS 2 shoe and announcement is absolutely off the charts incredible. These lights, I've never been more excited about anything Rotolite has produced than these lights. Because even though I've seen a lot of these features in the Titans, I can't use them like this. Dragging Titans all through here takes a huge crew, but just for somebody like me, it's just me and a helper today, guys. We have a big film crew, but in regards to like setting up stuff, you guys may think we have this huge crew, we really don't. It's just me and Martin setting all the stuff up. And so what that should tell you is you can do this too. And so, um, what an incredible time. A big thanks to Rod, a big thanks to Toby and Motion Blur and everybody, our makeup, everybody who did an incredible job. A big thanks to the models and a big thanks to you guys at home for watching. We couldn't do this without you, we really couldn't. I love these lights. I love everything that I can do with them. A lot of the new features that you see in the, in the new Roto lights really come into play. The RGB, the touch screen, the softness of the lights, the spread, the power. Being able to light up an entire space like this with these lights is just incredible. So. Super grateful to the Rotolite team, guys. If you go to rotolite.com slash kickstarter, you can get in on these deals while they still last because they will not last for very long. I think the end date is November 16th. If you're watching this after the Kickstarter, make sure to go to rotolite.com and check these lights out, guys. And uh, thanks so much for watching. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find a work that works for you and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.